Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using all products under £10. So I thought it'd be a good way to show you how to do um, a makeup look which is affordable with a load of different brands as well so that you can see what products you can get for a really cheap price. So if you want to see how I created this look and what products I used which were all under £10 then carry on watching and enjoy the video. So I have already moisturised so I'm going to go straight in with foundation and I'm going to use the Ordinary um, foundation. This is in the shade 1.2 and it's only £5.90 so it's a really nice affordable foundation and it's really good coverage. I think the price is probably because of the size of the bottle but because it's such a good coverage it doesn't really matter what, what the size is because it definitely lasts a long time. I've got two and they've lasted me ages. So I know this isn't exactly my shade so I'm going to um, use concealer and hopefully that will sort it all out. So I'm using the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer and this is only 4 99 so it's really cheap. I've got two of them and they're both running out so I do need to order some more but it's so annoying that it can't go out, obviously nobody can but it's annoying that we can't go in town and just pick up what you need and you have to order it because it just takes too long. I've put a lot more product on um, for concealer just to try and deal with the darkness of the foundation well more like orange but hopefully that will work I'm also going to use a contour kit as well which is also under £10 so um, hopefully that will sort it out as well <laughs> once I've contoured it might just deal with it I usually like how that foundation looks on my skin but I'm not really a massive fan right now I don't know if it because it seems to be breaking apart a little bit on my face and I think that might be because my skin seems to be really dry at the moment uh, probably because I'm getting no fresh air whatsoever <laughs> so um, my, skin, my skin is usually really oily but it seems to just be drying up so much at the moment so now I am going to go in with contour just because I've got a cream contour palette today so it's this Barry M Chisel Cheeks palette and this is £7.50 so this is really cheap and it looks like this so it's got all the shades you need it's quite dark for me so I'm not sure how this is going to go but I'm just going to use a small brush and just pop that on Then I'm going to use the brush just to blend that all in. If you can hear talking, it's my boyfriend downstairs. He's obviously on the phone. He's making us a, lo a roast. It seems like in every video he's making me food, but yeah, he's making us a roast because uh, he made his first one the other day and it was really nice. So. We bought the uh, ingredients to make it again because it was lovely. Next I'm going to go in with powder. I'm going to use the Love Shy Flawless Finish Powder, which is this one. This is like a loose powder and this is only 3 99 which is so cheap for a powder because powders are always so expensive, especially like the good ones, but I haven't actually used this one yet, so it would be good to test it out. So I'm just popping that all over my face. It actually seems quite nice. It's really mattifying and it's set my foundation quite nicely. Seeing as it is breaking up a little bit on my skin, it's not doing a bad job at all. So I've done with the powder and again, I didn't really need to use a lot at all. Um, I only used a little bit of product and it's gone a long way. So that's a really nice powder and I'm definitely going to use that again. So next will be bronzer and I'm going to use the W7, I think it's called Honolulu. Uh, bronzer so this is kind of like to me it's like kind of a dupe to the benefit uh hula bronzer I mean, it's got a similar name it's similar packaging so it's very similar um in that aspect and i'm just going to use a fluffy brush just to blend that in that this bronzer is only £4.50 so like I said everything's under £10 and it's so affordable but all these products are really nice. I'm just popping the bronzer in my usual areas. This bronzer is a little bit too dark for me but I don't mind when I'm doing like a contoured kind of look because it all blends in together in the end anyway once I've done the full look. It looks better with a bit more bronzer or a bit of a darker bronzer. 
It makes my face look a little bit more contoured, especially because I'm so pale. <laughs> So next is blush and I'm going to be using this sleek trio palette. So it looks like this, so you've got a few different shades of pink and red -y tones in there. Um, kind of like an orangey tone as well there, which is quite nice. Um, and this is only $8.99. This is a lovely blush palette as well. I've got three different ones and they're all really nice. I'm going to actually go in with the orangey shade and just see what that's like because I don't tend to use that very often. It reminds me a lot of just like summer because <laughs> in the summer I always seem to do much like orangey yellowy toned makeup because um, it kind of just fits with the season I guess. So that's the blush, that's looking really nice I think. Um, it's all starting to kind of, the product is starting to uh, build a bit in these areas. I'm not sure what that would be. I think it's the foundation and bronzer kind of not meshing very well together. At the end I can definitely fix that up if it's still a problem but it'll probably just seep in together nicely in a minute anyway. Uh, so next will be highlighter. I'm going to be using this Colourpop highlighter. So this is £7 and it's really really nice. It's so pigmented um, and I love their packaging that it's all circles because when you get a lot of their products you can fit them in your drawer really nicely. Um, I found that with my eyeshadows they fit in really nice and um, it's perfect really. So I'm just getting this little fluffy brush up and that on my cheek. So as you can see it's oh. It's quite blinding and obviously the more you put on the more blinding it will be uh, but you know this one gets a little bit strained sometimes it can build up but I'm just trying to blend it in nicely so it doesn't build up. So I'm going to be moving on to brows now before I do my eyes and I'm going to use the NYX Tame and Frame. I've had this for a very long time so it might be a bit dried up but it seems that all my eyebrow products are a little bit more expensive. So this is the cheapest one I could find um, and this is £6.50 so again it's really cheap and affordable but I have not used it in a long time so I don't know how it's going to work. I might just spray some setting spray in there, the one that I'm going to use anyway just to um, you know, get rid of the dryness. I just brush them up at the front rather than filling them in fully. I just brush them up while there's still product on the brush and it just gives them a fluffy look at the front. The other eyebrow will never go the same, so it probably won't be the same situation for this one. Again, just brushing through the front. So my brows are now done, they're completely different. This one's more angled, this one's more round, but I can't seem to deal with that right now and I don't really have the patience. My brows are so different anyway, like naturally, that it's really hard to like make them the same. But this is the best we're gonna get for now, I think. So next we've got eyes. So I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow palette from Makeup Revolution. This is the Pretty Creative version. And this one is £10, so um, just fits in to our budget. So I think I'm going to go with a blue look because I've got a blue dress on and I'm just filling the blue in this palette. I think it's really nice. It's called uh, Imaginative. So I might do maybe an orange and a blue. I'm not sure if that's really going to go, but I'm going to give it a go. So I'm just going to get this fluffy brush and go in with the orange. Wow, that's nice these are quite pigmented i've not used this orange before i've used the blue and pink in the palette and the brown but no, none of the other colors so this is my first time actually using this orange and it's really nice i'm just going to pack it on a little bit more so we can get the color a little bit more so i'm just blending that out because it's quite a bright color it needs a bit of extra blending on the outside out on the outer corners just to make sure that it's fully blended else you can definitely see that it's not blended uh, because it's so bright so I'm just blending that right out. I just realised it's in the budget of the video so I'm going to use this P. Louise base um, and this is in the shade zero point oh this is in the shade zero so it's completely white um, and I'm going to cut my crease this is £10 so it's still in the budget so uh, I'm going to actually wing the orange out a little bit more, I think, so I can create a uh, nice cut crease. 
So just packing that on, so as you can see it's so pigmented um, and it makes a really nice base. I'm sure you all know about P. Louise but if you don't their products are really nice. I actually, this is, um, I made an order only a few weeks ago and got this base with six others. So I got the shade zero, uh, the shade 0 0.2 I think it was, no the shade 2 as well so it's more my skin tone and then I got a few other ones so I got like a pink one, blue one, green one and purple just so I can create some simple looks and you know I didn't want to get too many just in case I didn't like them um, I'm sh I was sure I was going to because everyone seems to love them so I thought they must be good if um, people go on about them so much but I just thought I'd get myself some just to try them out and just get the standard colour. So that's one done. So I haven't done it too intense, but I've just winged it out a little bit on the side as you can see. And I'm just going to do the other one and then I'll be right back. So now that I've cut both the creases, as you can see, I'm going to go in with the blue shade. And I'm just going to pack that on the lid and on the lower part of the crease. I mean that's not as pigmented as I remember which is a little bit annoying but it's not too bad I'm gonna just pop it on and then I'll probably go in with maybe a flat brush and spray it with um, some set and spray or I might just use my finger just to uh, get some more pigment on it it's also got quite a lot of fallout which is really annoying because obviously I've done my foundation so that's not the best I'm gonna try and just use a flat brush and some spray just to see if that gives it a bit more pigment. I think maybe with this product you might just need to keep packing it in. Um, I think apparently these bases are meant to brighten the light, the colour as well. So if that's the case, I mean, the, uh, the colour really isn't that pigmented. I haven't used this in a very long time. I did use it a long time ago, so maybe, maybe I thought it was more pigmented then. I'm not sure, but... It's not seeming that brilliant right now, to be honest. I'm gonna try going in with my finger as well, just to see if that gives it a bit more, bit more pigment. That seems to be much better than um, using a brush, so I would definitely recommend that if you're using this palette. And I'm gonna just do my lower lash line as well. I think I'm going to use this orange, which is Innovate. And this is just like a different shade of orange. That's the eyes and now I'm going to go in with mascara then I'll put on some lashes. So the mascara I'm going to use is the Absolute Lashes by W7. This is only £4 so it's really affordable mascara and it's not too bad. I mean for my lashes it isn't brilliant just because mine are very hard to curl and you know because they're so flat they don't really do much but definitely for my lower lashes you can see a difference when I use it. So I'm not going to put too much on my top lashes just because I'm going to be putting false lashes on anyway. And then I'm just going to pop that on the bottom lashes. So that's it for the mascara. Now I'm going to pop on the lashes. So I'm going to use these velvet cream lashes. These were sent to me um, by their company. And the style that I've got is VKF03. So I'm going to use these and I'm, and I'm going to pop them on with the Duo Lash Glue. The Duo Lash Glue is £5 and the lashes are £10 each. So that just fits into the range of price that we're going for. So I'm just going to pop the glue on these. So now that they're a little bit tacky, I'm just going to pop them on my eyes. These lashes are really nice. They're like thinner on the inside and then they wisp out on the outside which I really like the style of lashes like that that wisp out more on the outside because it makes them stand out and also you can see the look a bit clearer when they're a bit shorter in the middle so that's that lash on and I'm just going to pop the other one on so that's the lashes done so we've only got two steps left the lipstick and the setting spray so I'm not going to put lipstick on for this look, I'm only going to put lip gloss on because it's quite an intense eye look. I'm just going to put lip gloss on so that it keeps the attention to the eyes. So I'm going to be using the W7 Hot Shot. This is like a lip plumping one as well and it's only £4 and it does a really nice job on your lips. It's a little bit stingy like any other lip plumper but um, it looks really nice I think. 
So that's the gloss and then the last thing I'm going to be using is setting spray. So this is the Revolution one um, and this one is really nice. I've got quite a lot in there actually which I'm surprised because I use this all the time but it's only £6 so it's really affordable. I'm just going to spray that all over my face just to set the foundation, set all the powder, set all the makeup in place so it stays on longer throughout the day. So this is the finished look. So I've just done quite a simple orange and blue cut crease um, and like I said at the beginning of the video all these products are under £10 so this is a really affordable way of doing your makeup and I've shown you quite a um, intense makeup look I guess for some. That palette had some browns in it, it had a light shimmer in it so it's definitely versatile for whatever look you want to create and there's hundreds more palettes out there which are under £10 so you can definitely you know create any look but this is a full face using products under £10 and I've used a lot of different um, makeup brands as well just to show a variety of brands that have affordable makeup so I hope you liked the video and if you did please give it a like comment and subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications for my future videos and I shall see you in the next one